What's going on guys, it's Tactical Trash Panda with another video. I know I had done a video on my Smith & Wesson Shield not too long ago. I did install an Apex trigger from Brownells. Um, after installing the kit, I was curious because I've been getting a consistent 6 pound trigger pull with the full on Apex kit. But before doing that, it felt like uh, before changing out the OEM plunger plunger spring, it did feel like it was a tad bit lighter. So what I want to do is, since I have some time, take the slide apart, put in the OEM plunger spring, see where that gets us. If it can get us any lower, if if it does, great. If not, then I'll. Swap in the Apex spring again. But I did already test this out. As you can see, the Apex kit, consistent six pound trigger. I've been told you can get it lower than that, so if you can, I wanna try that out. So stick with me, guys. I'm gonna pause the camera, take the slide off the frame, and you know, gut it out. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so I was actually trying to do this video where I could take off the back sights because that's how you take the plunger off. But I guess when I Loctite it, I may have put too much Loctite on there and unfortunately I don't have a soldering iron because this thing is stuck on there. Um, I tried to heat it with a lighter for a little bit to try to loosen up that Loctite, but that also did not work. I've heard that uh, you take a soldering iron and leave it on top of the screw, it'll actually heat it up enough where it liquefies the Loctite and you could loosen it up that way. But again, unfortunately, I do not have a soldering iron with me at the moment. So this video will have to get delayed or pushed back to another day, but that being said, I'm not upset with the trigger pull. I was just trying to see if I can get a lighter trigger pull, but with the Apex trigger kit from Brownells, you will still not be disappointed. If you do get the Apex kit, I would suggest trying it, trying the trigger weight with the OEM uh, spring before you replace your plunger spring, your plunger and your plunger spring. It does come together as so. There's the OEM right here. As you can see, the OEM plunger and the spring are in there. But for right now, I do not have a way to liquefy that and release it. And I do not want to strip my screw. For the future, I may change out the OEM sights and put on some night vision. So maybe I'll wait till I buy those sights. By then I'll have a, a soldering iron. I do have one, I just don't have it with me. Uh, Thanks for watching guys, till next time, unfortunately this video was not how I was expecting to end it, but if you're interested in the Apex Trigger Kit, again, make sure to check out Brown Nose. That flat face trigger already makes a huge, huge improvement to the OEM hinged trigger system, which I keep right here. I have this little little tackle box or whatever that I believe I got it from Walmart, which I keep all my gun cleaning and spare parts. But uh, again, I mean the Apex flat face trigger compared to the OEM hinge style, as you see right here, it is a major improvement. If you have the uh, first generation Smith & Wesson shields, 
I highly recommend changing out that trigger because the OEM just feels so sloppy. This trigger makes so much of a difference. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Even though this video didn't turn out the way I was planning on, but guys, stay ready. Make sure your equipment works, which this one does. I've range tested it after changing it out. And stay tuned because I got a special delivery from my good friend Angry Sarge. And there's gonna be a review coming soon. You don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be the Apex Gun Cleaning Kit, which I will try to have up within the next week. That kit does not belong to me. Uh, Sarge did send it over for me to do a review on. So until then, stay tuned. I'm gonna clean. I'm, I got some dirty guns. I'm gonna make sure to clean them with the Aegis kit and let you guys know what what I think about it. It's gonna be an honest review. I've been using a Hops number nine. I believe a lot of you know that brand is one of the OG brands and gun cleaning kits but I haven't opened up the Aegis kit yet so I'm gonna open it up on video for you guys so you can see my initial first impressions till next time guys uh, you can find me on Instagram and I will be continuing the talking trash with Panda We've decided that we're probably going to do it once a month. So I will keep you guys updated when the time comes. I do have some special guests in, in mind. Uh, not sure if we're going to continue it on Saturdays or move it to another day through the week. But you do not want to miss those. The first show had amazing amazing turnout we were not expecting so many people to come join us so we do we do totally appreciate your support it wouldn't be worth it without you guys um, I'll put in my link tree so you guys can find myself and uh, I do have a lot of affiliations including brown nose so if you're gonna do any shopping or get this specific trigger or any other gear make sure to hit up my affiliate link go shop at brown else they are amazing people and their customer support is top-notch that's why I'm so proud to always represent brown else because I've had so many great experiences with them over the years check out the check out the links guys take care